Hi everybody, welcome to another DIY Monday. It's Miss Chloe from Naples Regional Library. Don't forget about our e-resources. You can still do crafts at home. Check out things like Hoopla and Overdrive and Cloud Library for fun craft ebooks. Now today for our DIY Monday, we are going to be doing something really fun with shaving cream art. So all you need are some supplies you might have at home. You're gonna need some shaving cream. If you have watercolor paint and watercolor paper, I've just cut the paper into squares here and then a tray to do it all in. I'm going to show you how you can make your own watercolor shaving cream art. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put your pan down, shake up your shaving cream and get a good layer. You want a good layer of shaving cream down on the bottom of the pan. It doesn't have to be super thick, but you do want it to cover completely the bottom of the tray. You wanna make sure that you smooth it out to cover the width of your paper that you're gonna use. So now it's sort of smooth. It's going to cover the entirety of my paper. Now you're gonna take your watercolor paints, whatever colors you'd like. I happen to have a pipette here. And all we're going to do is suck some up and start dropping it into the pan. You can use whatever colors you like. We're going to make our pattern in just a moment when I've got this entire surface covered. So we've got our three colors down. I'm just using three, you can do whatever pattern you want. Now I'm gonna take the other end of my spoon and start swirling this through each other so that you make a tie-dye pattern. You can do this in whatever way you'd like. See how creative you can get. Let's swirl these together really good. And the more you swirl, the better it's going to look. You can see over here, it looks pretty cool. As you can see, we've swirled all of our colors together. So now all you want to do is take your watercolor paper, we're going to press it down onto our shaving cream. Don't wiggle it around, just press gently. And let's see if the color is going to transfer. Okay. Now you, what you want to do is take a scraper and scrape off the shaving cream. And what is left behind is our color pattern. So here you can see our completed watercolor pictures. These are great for making cards. You can glue them onto the front of a card or even just framing and hanging in your room. You can do all sorts of different colors and patterns with them. So we have our completed watercolors. It's really easy to do at home. It's a little bit messy, but everything washes out. So I hope you try it at home and let us know if it worked out for you. Let's see how creative you can get. And we will see you next time for DIY Monday. Bye everybody.